No one can escape the judgment of God. Even the guy in Turkey. He will hold all nations. Now see, I want you to understand this. But when he's saying this, he's going to hold all nations accountable for their actions. That's People, right. we are a nation. The United States of America is yes. a nation. And God is going to hold us accountable for our actions. Amen. Now it's up to us what we do with our actions. The second part of this verse reads, As you have done, it shall be done to you. Amen. Your deeds shall return to your own head. Right. Your deeds shall return to your own head. This is a clear statement that God will repay Edom for their evil deeds, just as they showed no mercy to Israel. God will show no mercy to them. Get that. God will show no mercy when he brings up his judgment upon them. I don't want to be part of that judgment. The principle of reaping what we sow is a consistent theme throughout the Bible, and it serves as a warning to all of us to be mindful of our actions and our consequences. And how is it that we can do this and we can get through this is right here, this thing right here. Let me show you. It's called the Bible. And so I have to go down. This is the real news. This is the good news. This is what's going to save you, people. Not that news out there. Not your president. Not Joe Biden. Not your terrorists. Not your Hamas. This book right here is what's going to save you. Amen. Get fit with him. Get right with God. Come to Jesus. Get in the Bible. Open the word up and start getting fit. Man. Spiritually fit. But I want us to understand if we look through Obadiah 1, 15 through 18, it makes a subtle shift in the audience. Obadiah is one of a few Old Testament books specifically addressed to a nation other than Israel. See, starting with the verse 15, the warning of judgment shifts from Edom to what? Edom to what? To all nations. Yes. It shifts from all nations who reject God and His commandments. In particular, nations are threatened to be paid back in the same way they have hammered others. Israel and our other faithful nations, however, will be saved. Man. But we're not faithful to Israel no more. We're getting away from that. So that means we're not protected. The only way we're going to be protected is to become one body in Christ. Man. To become a Christian. And to actually become a Christian. Everybody breaks the commandments. We are not holier than anybody else. Man. Everybody breaks the commandments. We know that. We fall short of the glory of God. That's not what matters. What matters is how we get back up and what we do with ourselves after the fact. That's and then we pray for repentance. Repent every day. Yes. Jesus asks us to repent every day. Pray every day. Pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians. Pray without ceasing. Man. So I want to say, the nation of Edom grew with Esau. The brother of Jacob. Jacob would later be named what? Jacob would be named Israel. Mm -hmm. Despite being so closely related, Israel had few long-term enemies as spiteful as the Edomites in the short prophecy given by Obadiah. Edom is warned of God's judgment. Edom is particularly condemned in aiding Israel's enemies in a time of war. This warning is extended to all nations that reject God. Judgment for your sin is coming. But God will be merciful for providing those who obey Him. Amen. And the way we obey Him is by accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. It's His Amen. Son that died for our sins. That's right. Yes. It's His Son that He made sacrifice for our sins so that we may live. Let us consider some of these applications Amen. that can be drawn from these verses of our lives today. Firstly, as believers, we must remember that God is just and will one day judge all nations, including you, because you're part of the nation. That's you're right. in the yeah. nation. So between me, you, and him, we all have to become one, the body of Christ. This should be remind us to not take justice in our own hands, but to trust in the Lord to bring about justice. Secondly, this verse also serves as a warning to those who oppress and mistreat others that they too will one day face consequences yes, of their right. actions. May we be people, and we the people of our nation need to stand up for Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah. We don't need to let them put him down, take him out of schools, start satanic cults and our then, schools. Yes. Why? Because we're too scared to stand up for Jesus Christ, Woo! Yeshua Messiah? Yeah. Come on yeah. now. This verse also starts as a warning to those who oppress and mistreat others. That's that right. they too one day face consequences of their actions. May we be people of mercy and forgiveness rather than retaliation and vengeance. Furthermore, as Christians, I want us to understand that we must also be careful not to become proud and to think more highly of ourselves than Amen. others. 